Hey guys, in this video lecture, we'll use messages or Django messages framework in our uh, block project. Uh, you can search on Google about the messages framework, Django messages framework, and it will give you the Django documentation for that. So quite commonly in web applications, you need to display a one-time notification message, also known as flash message to the user after processing a form or some other types of user input. For this, Django provides a full support for cookie and session based messaging for both anonymous and authenticated users. The messages framework allows you to temporarily store messages in one request that is the request object that we will use in view and retrieve them for display in a subsequent request, usually the next one. Every message is tagged with a specific level that we will talk about in this section that determines its priority, for example info, warning and error. First of all, this section includes enabling messages. Uh, we need to have some uh, setup already for in order to use the messages framework. So for this, in settings.py file, uh, we should have the django.contrib.messages in our installed apps. So if we go to the settings.py file, check here that it is already included or not. And as you can see, django.contrib.messages is already available here by default. And then it is it will uh, search for the middleware and it will ask for the middleware that is the session middleware and then the message middleware is there or not check it uh, the session middleware and the message middleware is also by default present already present in the settings.py file and then in the context templates we do have the context processor for the messages framework in order to use as a con the messages as a context to be shown on the template so if we scroll down a bit uh, uh, on the Django documentation, we'll have the message levels section inside the messages framework. The messages framework is based on a configurable level architecture similar to that of a Python logging module. If you don't know about the Python, Python logging module, just uh, go through it. Message levels allow you to group messages by type so that you, uh, they can be filtered or displayed differently in views and templates. So these are the constants. The, uh, we have mainly five constants available, uh, levels available uh, inside the Django.contrib.messages. So th this is the debug, which is for the development related messages that will be ignored in a production deployment. And then the info as the name suggests uh, for the informational purpose, messages for the user and success. Uh, if there, an action was successful, then you will write messages or success and then for warning and then error if action was not successful so with related to this message levels we do have the message tags related to this level constant so we do have for debug we'll use debug as a tag and info the we we'll use small info as a tag success and we'll use small success as a tag and so on so the next section includes how can we use messages in our views and templates so in order to use a message we need to add a message we'll call first of all we need to import the messages framework so for the, in our views so we'll need to write from django.contrib import messages and then with the messages module we need to call a method add underscore messages and then inside the brackets we'll need to pass a request and then the level uh, that we need to show and then the message that uh, need to be shown on the template and this message will bind with the request message and which can be used in a template and the shortcut method in order if you don't want to use add message and three parameters and we need to use we'll use also message dot success or debug and the request parameter is must and then the message itself and now let's talk about displaying messages so in order to use uh, display messages in our template we'll, uh, there is a messages context here already as uh, we have talked about in the context processor in the template this is that messages and uh, this this gives a list of messages that we uh, used in the views we'll do it in action just uh, first of all go through the things so how it how can we display messages in our template so we'll write class messages and for message in messages and we'll write list item if message or tags and class and the message context itself we don't need to pass th this context on the view it is by default uh, the Django provides so 
So let's get into the code. Open up the Adam text editor and uh, open up the views.py file as we will use our message frame, messages framework in our post create view, post edit view and post delete view. But first of all, we need to import the messages framework using from django.contrib import messages. Just go to the post create view where it is and uh, just where we are inside the uh, request.method double equals to post where we are redirecting to the post list view we'll write just messages and we'll say a success message should be the success message and inside that as usual we'll need to import in include the request object and the message itself and we'll say post has been successfully created So we need to now display this message uh, in our template. So we are where we are redirecting is into the post list view. So open up the post list template inside the templates blog, and just before the after the block content inside the block content, we write if messages. Let's in, uh, include it in the div section. We'll use the div section here, div class messages, and copy the if statement inside it. Inside the if messages, we'll loop through the messages. That is, uh, this messages will provide a list of items or messages. So we'll write and for loop for message in messages, we'll end the for loop here. And inside that for loop, we'll create a paragraph. And inside, we'll write, give that paragraph a class as alerts, which is a bootstrap. Excuse me, it's alert, which is a bootstrap class for showing the alert messages. Um, and then the alert itself, hyphen. And here we'll provide a con context variable, which is messages message dot tags. This is the tags that we have talked about. This, which is uh, um, in our case, we have used a success as a tag, so it will show alert hyphen success. And if you go to the browser and search for bootstrap, bootstrap po alerts, and if you click on W3 schools, and this is the this kind of success message inside a little box uh, will show show up, and this is the code. That we need to define uh, that we are defining here which is the alert alert hyphen success and alert alert hyphen info then the particular color will be shown as this for info the color has been changed for warning this color and uh, this kind of so this is the bootstrap for alerts you can use uh, then inside after that we we'll write inside the p tag we we'll write here a messages uh, excuse me a message so if you go to the browser and open the local host or open up the or website here uh, log in with the Abhishek user or you can use any user and if you try to create a post and say post to blah 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 and status should be published create and see we are getting our post has been successfully created message shown on the post list view and if we refresh it it will go on it will go on so but it will constantly so show onto the screen if we if we do not refresh so in order to automatically set the timeout for this we will use the jquery functions set timeout to slide the alert message up so open up the base.html where we have jquery available and here we'll use inside the document.ready we'll write a function inside that inside that we'll use a built-in jquery function which is a set timeout set time is capital 
set timeout and inside that we'll again write function and the timeout we will provide is the 5 seconds timeout which is in 5000 milliseconds so it makes up uh, 5 seconds and inside that we'll write a class of the that we have used here which is the alert here so we'll use dot alerts and then excuse me alert dot slide and u is capital slide up and here we'll pass a time uh, and we'll say i will say two second here set timeout so we have created the set timeout function um, so we also uh, we'll implement our message framework in our post edit view so open up the post go to the post edit view before returning a redirect to the post uh, dot get absolute url we'll write here write up here messages dot success you can use info any kind of um, level you, you would like to use and here we'll say has been successfully updated because we are updating the or editing the post updated and here we'll write dot format in order to use the variable post dot title and this post dot title is uh, assigned uh, to the this uh, braces brackets so before returning to the post detail view so and same we'll use in the post delete view just before redirecting so we write messages dot we'll say success again which has been here and request we'll write here we can say uh, info mess warning message warning will give a request and uh, inside that we'll write uh, post has been successfully deleted so if we go to the browser and open up the post two and try to edit that and uh, we'll just say blah 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 again here and we'll try to update it it will go to the post delete view but it is not showing the things up why it is so because if we go to the see if we go to the atom text editor we need to increase uh, as we, we are editing the post it will redirect to the post de uh, post detail view but post detail view doesn't include displaying a message here as we did on post list view so if we copy it we need to copy it and paste it inside the post detail view as well here and it will just show the messages see the message has now been uh, the post to has been successfully updated but as we are a professional web developer so we need to do a smart work so in order to use the code again and again we'll create a snippet so just cut it here from here and include it inside the blog content so in, inside the blog directory we'll create a new file called alerts.py.html excuse me and just paste the content of the messages here html template here and uh, go to the post list template and just out of the block content just remove the messages here and we'll just include inside uh, include the html snippet we have created which is blog alerts dot html inside the block it should must be inside the block uh, block content and uh, copy it and use it in the post detail view as well so if we go to the browser again and try to edit the post to again and say up this is post to and if we choose the image i'm going to jpeg and update it and voila you can see post to has been successfully updated and uh, it will now go slide up as we have used the logic in the jquery or base.html uh, here you can see what this means is we are uh, after five seconds it will show for five seconds and after five seconds it will slide up the uh, alert within a two seconds so 
and now if we delete the post this post and I'll show you to delete this post okay it will go to the post delete view and say a little uh, color of the alert box has been changed for as we have used the warning message the post has been successfully deleted so we have used the messages framework here we are all good here guys if you like my videos please do subscribe my channel and share my videos see you guys in the next video lecture